Hello, fourth graders. We are in our next step of learning about equivalent fractions um, using multiplication. And I'm highlighting the word equivalent here. I did the whole word, but I want to focus on this part right here, E, Q, U, to remind you that when we're talking about equivalent, we're looking for things that are equal. We're using that word equal. So I'm going to give you a few examples of some fraction where we can find a uh, equivalent to that fraction, something that is the same, but we're going to use multiplication to help us find another fraction that is named differently, but is equal in value, or that means it's equal in amount. In this example, you are going to see the image of one half or the representation of one half. We have two equal pieces, one, two equal pieces, and one of them is colored in. So that is one half. I'm going to now show you how we can create equivalent fraction by multiplying this one on the top by two and also the two on the bottom by two. Please notice that two over two is equivalent to the number one. Like two parts out of two is equivalent to one. However, we're going to multiply the one times two and the two times two. Whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom and vice versa. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. That is the rule, it cannot be changed. But once I do that, I will show you how you are going to generate an equivalent fraction to one half. As you see here, again, we have one half, but we're going to multiply the one by two. So one times two, okay? And then this one also goes into two parts. So one times two is two. One, two, two times two is one, two, and then three, four. So we have two parts out of four. Our equivalent fraction to one half is two fourths. So one half is equivalent to two fourths. We're going to try this again using um, a different number to multiply um, one half against. Again, we have the representation of one half. This time we are going to multiply one half by three thirds. So three thirds is a whole. So we're going to multiply one by three and also the two by three because what you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So we are going to take each part, this colored part and this not colored part, and we are going to put it into three equal pieces. You will see that one times three is one, two, three. Two times three is one, two, three, four, five, six. One times three is three. Two times three is six. So one half is equivalent to three, six, which also makes us, you know, deduce or we can hypothesize that two fourths is also equivalent to three, six. All three of these fractions, one half, two fourths, and three, six are all equivalent. I'm going to give you one more example. All right, as you can see in the pattern, you, we went from two halves to three thirds, and now we're going to multiply a half by four fourths. And remember four pieces out of four, that's a whole. So one piece times four is four, two times four equals eight. So let's go ahead and get this representation. We are going to put each of these shaded pieces into four equal sections. One, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, four, four right here out of five, six, seven, and eight. So one half is equivalent to four eighths. 
These are all equivalent fractions of one half. One half is equivalent to two fourths, is equivalent to three sixths, is equivalent to four eighths.